And we begin tonight with Matt Lauer breaking his silence 24 hours after being fired as the longtime co-host of the Today Show. He is now apologizing in a statement expressing, quote, sorrow and regret for the pain he has caused, saying repairing the damage is now his full-time job. Lauer seen for the first time in photos from the DailyMail.com, leaving his home on Long Island in the Hamptons. As tonight, a clearer picture of the allegations now emerge. And the questions, who at NBC knew what and when? ABC's Lindsay Davis leading us off. 24 hours after his firing, the former Today Show host, seen here in photos by DailyMail.com, leaving his $33 million estate on Long Island, New York, Matt Lauer now breaking his silence, saying in a statement, there are no words to express my sorrow and regret for the pain I have caused others by words and actions. To the people I have hurt, I am truly sorry. As I am writing this, I realize the depth of the damage and disappointment I have left behind at home and at NBC. Some of what is being said about me is untrue or mischaracterized, but there is enough truth in these stories to make me feel embarrassed and ashamed. Adding, the last two days have forced me to take a very hard look at my own troubling flaws. It's been humbling. Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie. Lauer's illustrious career at NBC has included high profile assignments like hosting the Thanksgiving Day Parade. Countdown to the Olympic Games with Matt Lauer. And the Olympics. ABC News has learned since one female colleague went to NBC on Monday with allegations of sexual misconduct that began with the 2014 Olympics in Sochi. And good morning. Welcome to today on a Friday morning. I'm Matt Lauer. Morning, and continued after, at least two other women have made formal complaints about Matt Lauer to NBC News. One of those women also went to the New York Times with her allegation, saying that in 2001, Lauer sexually assaulted her after summoning her to his office. She says Lauer asked her to unbutton her blouse, which she did. At some point, she said she passed out with her pants pulled halfway down. She woke up on the floor of his office and Mr. Lauer had his assistant take her to a nurse. She says she does bear some of the responsibility for what happened, but she felt like, you know, he was kind of using his power um, over her. According to Variety magazine, several women say they complained to executives at the network about Lauer's behavior, which fell on deaf ears given the lucrative advertising surrounding Today. Jeff Zucker, the former president of NBC Universal, who led the Today Show when he was just 26, had this to say. Obviously, I've known Matt for 25 years, and uh, I didn't know this Matt. And NBC's current management doubled down, releasing a statement unequivocally denying any prior knowledge of complaints about Matt Lauer's conduct. But Variety magazine is questioning the validity of that statement. It is at odds with our reporting. We had talked to dozens of former and current staffers who say that there was general knowledge within all ranks of NBC, between staffers, high-ranking executives, other anchors that were on air with Matt, knowing, detailing, speaking about what Matt was doing, pursuing women. You wish me well. Oh boy, do we. Matt Lauer's firing also bringing the tearful departure of Ann Curry back into the headlines. Curry now asked about Lauer's firing, telling People Magazine she is still processing it, adding the women's movement got us into the workplace, but it didn't make us safe once we got there. And the battle lines are now clear. We need to move this revolution forward and make our workplaces safe. And Lindsay Davis back with us here tonight. And this evening, we're also learning details about what NBC News employees were told by their boss after Matt Lauer's firing. Yeah, and David, he would not give the details about that complaint, but he did describe a power dynamic at play, which he said made the encounters inappropriate. All right, Lindsay Davis leading us off. Lindsay, thank you.